Sleuth is a tool from Spring Cloud family. It is used to generate the trace ID, span ID and add these information to the service calls in the headers and MDC, so that it can be used by tools like Zipkin and DLK etc. to store, index and process log files. As it is from Spring Cloud family, once added to the class path, it automatically integrated to the common communication channels like Requests made with the REST template etc. Requests that pass through a Netflix Zoom microproxy. HTTP headers received at Spring MVC controllers. Requests over messaging technologies like Apache Kafka or RabbitMQ etc. Using Sleuth is very easy. We just need to add its started POM in the Spring Boot project. It will add the Sleuth to project and so in its runtime. So far we have integrated Zipkin and Sleuth to microservices and ran Zipkin server. Let's see how to utilize this setup. For this demo, let's create four Spring Boot based microservices. They all will have both Zipkin and Sleuth starter dependencies. In each microservice, we will expose one endpoint and from the first service we will call second service, and from second service we will invoke third and so on using REST template. And as we have already mentioned, Sleuth works automatically with REST template so it would send this instrumented service call information to attached Zipkin server. Zipkin will then start the bookkeeping of latency calculation along with few other statistics like service call details. I have created four Spring Boot based services. All services have the same configuration, only difference is the service invocation details where the endpoint changes. Let's first build their service using Maven install then I will do a code walkthrough of each service. It will take couple of minutes for all four services to complete the build. Let's check the controller, POM and application properties file of each service. Contains the couple of Spring Boot starter dependencies. The main important ones for this demo are Spring Cloud Starter Sleuth and Spring Cloud Starter Zipkin. POM file is same for all four services. Next we have a Zipkin controller. Here we have exposed one Zipkin endpoint in which we are hitting the Zipkin 2 endpoint at 8082 port using REST template. machine, so we need to run them in different ports. Also to identify in Zipkin, we need to give proper names. So configure application name and port information in application.properties file under resources for Eight thousand eighty-two, eight thousand eighty-three, eight thousand eighty-four, and name will also be like Zipkin Server Two, Zipkin Server Three, and Zipkin Server Four.
After API calls succeed, we can see the statistics at Zipkin UI. Choose the first service in the first drop-down, and once click on Find Traces button. You should see this type of UI where you can do performance analysis by looking at tracing data. In this tutorial, we learned to use Zipkin to analyze latency in the service calls. Also we learned how Sleuth can help us creating the metadata and pass it to Zipkin. I hope this information will be useful to you to get started with distributed tracing using Zipkin and Sleuth.